hello guys in this video i wanted to show you that now you can run fi3 model just within your browser you don't have to install any other api or anything all you need to do is to go to your browser load this website and then click on load model it is going to um, download this 3 gig file on your local system within your browser and then you should be able to run it now while this loads here let me give you a bit of an overview as what exactly is happening here so the primary bottleneck in executing all of these large language models locally is not really processing power but memory capacity for example the smallest model from meta's recent llama release is 7 billion parameter or 8 billion parameter for uh, llama 3 and that would require roughly around 15 to 16 gig of memory if stored in floating point 16. And that is why projects like Llama.cpp and various other which I have covered on my channel have caused such a massive revolution when it comes to running these models uh, locally. Using techniques like 4-bit quantization, the same 8 billion weights now take up only around 4 gig or somewhere around that memory, which of course adds much higher perplexity but that is fine we can live with it and it is much more uh, feasible and friendly for all the consumer hardware such as i show you when i'm using 8 gb vram gpus or uh, 16 gb vram gpus but the problem is that the ggml family primarily targets the cpu while this gives much more flexibility there are a lot of downsides because it will eat all of your cores and also since most modern devices are shipping with capable gpu npus we should also capitalize on that silicon so that is why i think um, when it comes to the secret sauce i believe that is something called as web gpu so to effectively run these models and achieve this desired interactivity and distribution across uh, platform api is much much required and that is what web gpu is web gpu is a native graphics api which is present in chrome and now in almost all of the browsers after a lot of years before that we had webgl but that is gone and now we have this uh, web gpu so and chris has also shared on his blog that from his experiments you can expect nearly one teraflops per second on m1 how good is that and there are a lot of documents already available on web which you can read through also rust is the language to be if you are looking to build these sort of browser interfaces with your own models on your local system so you can read through a lot of rust uh, recipes out there which will enable you to uh, write a program to run these models locally in your browser also uh, you can't just use only rust to plug and play web based model you would also need some front end just like this one and you can use there are a lot of other runtimes like chris has created a runtime called as rumble so it is not just a wrapper over the runtime it offers some creative solutions to problem with running models in the browser because we want to keep models as small as possible both uh, on the network and in the memory so that the weight sharing for encoder decoder model is a must also through some hacking of the onnx specification and index db this was implemented um, by doing the weight sharing as he stored tensors individually and reading them from the db for each model storing each of the tensors individually enables some pretty interesting use cases and as one of them you can see here now still um, there are a lot of limitations for example you can only run smallish model and you can already see that download all depends upon your speed it is not even halfway through as i'm speaking for some time now so i will give it some more time but uh, it doesn't happen that is fine but i will drop the link to this uh, website in video description but i just wanted to let you know that if you have a good um, internet and if you have good memory then you can run these models like Fi3 on your own system uh, just within browser all you have to do is to download this and of course you would need to have good memory i mean if you don't have a good memory on your system then it won't work and it is not just for the computer or laptop you can do the same for maybe your phone your tablet or whatever device you are using 
So after 30 minutes, at last the file has loaded. I think that's more about my internet speed. And then of course you can run this easily. Just click on run model. And then hopefully it is going to give the response. It is running at the moment. It takes a bit of a time. There you go. So at the top you can see. I believe it is running on zero um, on hugging face. So don't expect a lot of speed there. Very, very slow. Maybe it is running on my system. So of course, as I said, you would need a still good memory in order to run this model because though it is running on the thin client like browser, still it needs good memory. So I just wanted to show you this. So if you're looking to um, create something similar, you know, which technologies to use and I will drop the link to this in video description. Another thing I would suggest that just click on this hugging face repo. And this is the guy who has created it, Christopher Fleetwood. And then go to his website. And once you go to his website, you will see that he has this post running LLMs in browser with Rust and Web GPU. This is you can follow along to check out a lot of stuff which he has discussed around Web GPU, laser break, and then how he created it, how he implemented it, what limitations which he faced, and conclusion. So pretty good. I really like um, the way he has described everything. And I think he works at Hugging Face, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, but pretty good, I should say. All in all, um, I think a really good effort. And if you go to his Hugging Face repo, there are a few others um, goodies too, which you can follow along. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to it in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.